New York City is home to some of the most expensive hotels on the planet, but if you don't mind a room shaped more like a cruise ship cabin, could this be New York's best deal at a little over $100 a night? Today, we're checking into the Jane Hotel. All right, this definitely does not look like a cheap hotel. It looks like a distinctive hotel. It's even on a cobblestone street. The architect of this hotel, William Boring, had a sea motif for the building. You can see it with the fish and the anchors outside. He also co-designed the immigrant station at Ellis Island. This hotel may be most famous because in 1912, the survivors of the Titanic were housed here. They got dropped off at Pier 54 by the Carpathia. Most people don't even realize that the old docks are still there. Instead, Little Island, the big tourist attraction is there, but that's where they were dropped off and the survivors were housed right here. Love the doors. Wow. Ooh, pretty lobby. Hi, how are you? Hello. Here to check in. What's your last name? Bar, B A R R. Uh, can I see your ID and credit card, please? Sure. Bunk bed, really? One night. Yes. It looks like the lobby hasn't changed in 100 years. Um, that is just an illusion. It was remodeled. Uh, yeah, if you want to see what it looked like in the 80s, uh, watch the movie Vampire's Kiss with Nicolas Cage. Is it true the hotel's haunted? Uh, people say, yeah. You guys will have to find out. This is like the coolest hotel lobby I've ever seen in New York City. This is like that Disney World elevator. I forgot what it was called. This is just like it. Oh. This elevator's a vibe, I'll tell you right now. Hotel's got some class. I will say that up front. Definitely got some class. Oh, it's shaking. Oh, no. If you don't like elevators, you might get nervous. <laughs> oh. We were swaying back and forth. I think we're on some kind of a ship at the moment. We got that seat motif down pat. All right, we're almost at the room. Kind of excited. Feels like a little adventure. Here we are. I actually was really expecting one of those old keys, but we have the decal lockers. <laughs> this literally may be the smallest hotel room I have ever seen in my life. It's like just a bunk. The outside looks like a cruise ship, but the room itself looks like it's a double bunk train cabin. I can't even stretch out my arms all the way from the bed to the wall. My first question would be, where would you put your suitcase? Because there's no opening here. The only opening I've seen so far is this. So they have a big safe here. And then you have a second under storage, which maybe you could fit like a, like a duffel bag or a really small suitcase could possibly fit under there. This is basically a place to rest your head and go out and explore the city which I think would work for a lot of people. Two TVs. <laughs> I've been in fancy hotel rooms that didn't even have two TVs. All right, let's check this out. All right, I'd be, I'd be very impressed if we got HBO going here. All of life's problems. I hate you, dad. Maybe someone's dad was up there and they just pinned that in. Wow. I'm glad this isn't moving. If this was a moving train, I'd be a little bit afraid. I don't know. I might want to sleep up here. No, maybe not. All right. I can see the air conditioner is behind there. They thought of everything. There's a little shelf up here and you've got two separate outlets. If you want my honest opinion, not the most comfortable mattress on earth, but we are staying on a budget. All right, let's see how wide this room is. All right. It's 63 inches across by a little over seven feet. And they said 50 square feet. I think it's even smaller. Well, if you need a mirror, it's like, you know, all around you. This is a nice touch because the bathroom, as you can tell, is not in the room. It is shared with strangers and you get your very own bathrobe. I don't think you get to keep it though. Complimentary slippers, three different towels. All right, this kind of works. I've had worse bathrobes, far nicer hotels before. Speed test says 75 
Mbps, which isn't that fast, but it is one shared Wi-Fi. So I think there's a ton of people using this right now. You know, there's stories that the hallways are haunted by the survivors of the Titanic. Haven't seen any ghosts yet. That's not bad. Huge shower, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, big shower head here. All about the nice touches here. Look, even the hot and the cold. I know communal bathroom is a deal breaker for many people, but I think if you had to do it in New York, this would probably be the hotel to do it. I at. think that the sound is really well barricaded here. Like I, I barely hear any sounds. In some ways that's more important for me in a hotel in New York City is how quiet it is. Even you know, looking outside, you're not surrounded by big skyscrapers. It looks like an apartment next door in a little courtyard. At one point, this hotel was housing people for as little as $200 a month. A starving artist type, RuPaul, one of the most famous people that ever lived here. And I've heard that there are still people who've lived in this hotel for over 30 years. Yeah, this room is definitely not for the claustrophobic. It's for people that want to save money and enjoy all the city has to offer and have just something a bit unique. And they have bigger rooms available closer to what you would expect market rate for a New York City hotel. If you're not adventurous enough, for this, but I hope if you're watching his channel, you might just be. Take the keyhole, put it here, controls the lights and the air conditioning, one up top, this one here, two plugs, then there's two plugs down here, counting the television, and then two plugs up top. So we actually have six outlets in a 50 square foot room. Bravo, that's, that's 2023 for you, that's thinking. Even the hallways are a little claustrophobic, but you know, it's all intentional. It's all themed. I feel like too many hotels these days, they don't have any style. They all feel the same. This, this is a throwback. You even have the portholes here. All right, this is <laughs> from another time. Payphone's not working. I can just imagine people making calls in the middle of the night here, 1980s. You're right by the West Side Highway here. The only tough part about staying at the Jane is that you're about a 10 minute walk to some of the subways, but what you lose in access to public transit, you're definitely getting a steal of a deal here. I am curious, would you stay? Tell me in the comments why or why not? Now that you've got a classic and affordable New York hotel to stay at, what about some iconic eateries? In this video here, we visit three of New York's best. Head here next.